Yo, we are here for Dean Dayfly. I am, of course, Ellis, for those of you who don't know. And we had, it's weird to talk about things that are not happening in this video. But I record, I'm recording a three in a row, and I have my first, like, oh man, I think I messed up because I'm on very limited sleep. That's my fault. It's not that the world is hard, I'm just, just not sleeping properly. Um, on the last video, my, my little lapel mic, this guy didn't turn it on. So I'm hoping that I will have salvaged the audio from the camera, which is gonna be really bad, or else I wouldn't use the lapel mic, right? I would just use that. Um, but you're like, this has nothing to do with this video. Yeah, I know, but like, it's, I, I'm living this life, so I, you know, I have to kind of like talk about what happened to get, to keep my sanity to like, life is moving around the videos. It also adds some continuity. If you happen to watch the videos frequently, you'll be like, oh, that's what he did in the last one. So, apparently, that's working, that's working, that's working. There's nothing to stop us. This is the last video of the day, doing a small set, three set. New Dean, Dayfly, love Dean, love Loco. Loco's not in this. Why am I saying that? Because there's the Dean Loco video and I thought it was awesome. Yeah, time to stop talking. Let's see if I can go like seven seconds without saying something. Oh, by the way, this is pretty funny. Um, these are this is the same chord structure as the Akmu. It sounds radically different. This is a, this is sounds like a two five one in a minor key, and the previous one was a two five one. In a minor. I tell you something I'm loving about old Dean, and sorry, brother, I don't know who you are. It's ignorance until you find out. What I love. Um, and it's something I used to love back in the day when I had all like crazy, all new hair and weird crazy stuff. I love looking away and then sounding a different way. So like, I love how Dean looks and this dude here, where I'm, when you see, you see him, maybe not you, but I can admit it. I'm like, this dude's going to spit some fire raps. And then you hear that voice and you're like, no. no. And then you're, you're looking and you still see like a dude, you're like, you should be rapping, but you're singing so well. Like you sing so well. Why would you ever rap? Your voice is so good. Okay. I can't help it. I'm distracted by them bashing the car, which is probably why they put that in there. Um, I don't buy fancy cars. Maybe one day I will. But one time I did get a BMW. I can't remember what I had, like a three, dude, it's so far back. I remember 320 something. I don't remember. All I had was problems with that car. I think I owned it for six months and drove it for like a total of three weeks. And all I ever wanted to do, okay, the first day I bought it, I was like, dude, you're a baller. This is a ballin' car. And dude, after the first week, all I wanted to do was smash it. I swear, I just wanted to break that car. As soon as I got it running and it ran stable, I sold it for real. Mine was blue, though. It was older, it was like a 2004, in case you care about the story. I don't know what's more beautiful, her voice or them setting that car on fire. Like, I'm getting to live vicariously through these dudes. This is actually super interesting now that I think about it and that I started it. I bought the car from an auction. And when I sold the car, later on, I sold it to the guy who had his car repossessed. He had left an emblem on the back of the window. And I left it on there when I got it because I didn't want to like try to damage the window to take it off. I figured in time I figured it out. And when I posted the car for sale on Craigslist, he was looking for his car and he found his car and he bought his car back from me. And he told me when he met me, he told me what was going to be in the, he's like, did you clean the car out? I was like, not really, because it's pretty clean, except for the trunk. He's like, I'll tell you what's in the trunk. And he told me what was in the trunk. Like, thanks for mountain mini blinds and stuff. 
and the emblem that was on the back of the window, he pulled out a necklace and he had the emblem from the window was on his necklace. I was like, dude, I didn't know this is where I was going to tell that story though. My boy's glitching out on the back left and the car's on fire. Oh, wait, sorry, dude in front of us. Apparently I don't notice. Is that an outrun? What is that? No, oh, it's like older than outrun, right? Uh, yeah, it did his job, dude. I'm like, what? Um, that song was, it was exactly like what I would expect for something like Instagram. But the issue is that, you know, people like BTS hit me with Singularity and House of Cards, which is 100% different than what I would think of. And then, of course, Exos smacked me across the face with many different styles. Akmu has hit me with many different styles. So whenever I go like, this is what I would expect, usually I'm very very wrong in this genre but Dean seems to have been like pretty consistent with that uh, beautiful singing and um, even bringing in that jazz guitar element but enough I don't know what you want to call it a backbeat percussion underlying rhythmic foundation I don't know what you want to say but there's like he's taking um musical structures that are 50 years old, 60 years old, but between his voice and a little tweaking, it's got a whole new modern flair to it, which is sick. But also got me distracted and made me talk about my BMW. That's his fault. You know, why'd, you put a, why'd you put a BMW in your video and then smash it and light it on fire if you didn't want me to talk about the one that I hated and uh, then sold to the dude whose car originally was, they got repossessed. I can't think of a better way to end. Who am I? Where are we? Whatever just happened. That's where we are. That's what we do. That's ridiculous. I can't predict that. I will, hopefully I'll see y'all somewhere. I hope so. Let's go. Good night. Goodbye.